Let's move on now to main topic number three. Rob, what is our third main topic today? Well, our third main topic comes from Dylan's Dialogue. Hey, John, I love your show and all that you do. Did you hear that Stephen King's Christine is getting a Blumhouse remake? Brian Fuller, TV's Hannibal, is attached to direct. What are your thoughts? And have a glorious day, my friend. Uh, well, I have to say, by the way, thank you, Dylan, for that. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Brian Fuller. Obviously, full disclosure, I know him. He's a terrific guy. I think he's an incredibly talented writer. I think it's about time that he has a shot directing a film. And if there's one thing I know about Brian Fuller, he is incredibly passionate about the horror genre and about Stephen King. And I think that going back to Christine, a book that came out in 83, along with the same year as the, the Carpenter adaptation came out, um, I think, yeah, it's about time. You know, it's been almost 40 years since we've had a Christine adaptation. And apparently he wants the the uh, movie set in the 80s. And we get this from Deadline. Sony Pictures and Blumhouse are revving back up Christine. A new version of the Stephen King novel, novel that Brian Fuller is writing to direct. Jason Blum is producing for Blumhouse. And Vincenzo Natale and Stephen Hoban are also producing. The great thing about Vincent Natale, who's made, he directed movies like Cube, things like that. Uh, he worked for Brian Fuller directing episodes of Hannibal. Right. So to have Vincent, Vincent Natale, who did also movies like Split, he's got more credibility as a director. So I think what's really cool about this package is that for Blumhouse's sake, you know, Brian Fuller has not directed a feature before. But to have someone like Vincent Natale, a friend of his, a former employee, who Brian could lean on for maybe advice to have him on as part of the producing staff, I think makes this a really solid package. And I think Blumhouse knows, I mean, they're, they're pioneering um, ways to, to get new people to direct things and, and uh, at uh, lo lower budgets. And I think it's a great way to go. My only question, John, is this, you know, Blumhouse itself, if I can just speak about Blumhouse, I love that Brian Fuller is directing a Christine remake, but I hope that, Blumhouse, which which was kind of trailblazing, doing new things, has been kind of falling back to existing IPs, whether it's The Invisible Man, whether it's um, now Christine, Halloween. I hope that Blumhouse doesn't forget that it, it can be still trailblazing and do new things as well as, as obviously IPs that are very valuable. So I want to see Blumhouse continue to reinvent IPs like they did with Invisible Man, which I thought was terrific, and then also do some trailblazing. Keep doing those new, unique visions, Blumhouse. But I thanks I for giving Brian Fuller a, a job. I don't think there's any danger of that. I mean, all all the while they've been doing this stuff, they've also been putting out a lot of smaller horror films, too. Well, everything yeah, that Blumhouse does is small. And I think you're right. Con hey, revisit these older IPs. While they keep continuing making new stuff, was like Happy Death Day is a great example of that. Like, I love Happy Death yes. Day. Stuff like that. As far as Christine goes, I got to say, I really do like the idea of it, partially because of like what you were saying with uh, with you look what they just did with a revitalized property uh, in the form of The Invisible Man. That movie was great. I had such a good time with that movie. And when you look at Christine, there are certain themes in Christine that maybe you couldn't have done in previous eras that you could do now. One of the big parts of our collective minds these days is the struggle about, we often philosophically deal with the struggle of our relationship with technology. And are we becoming over-reliant on technology and stuff like that? That's really a kind of element you couldn't have had in a Christine movie back in the 70s or 80s. But that's an element you could introduce in here as well, which could be interesting. And, you know, another remake they did recently, a movie I always get confused with Christine is Carrie. I always get I always get Carrie and Christine mixed up. But not a couple of years ago, they did a Carrie revisit. And while not a lot of people loved it, I actually thought it was pretty good. But when you look at just the the continuing love affair that people have with cars, the new element mm. you could bring to it with the balance of technology in how our lives work, a good horror, and now you're adding Fuller. And you're adding Fuller to this. Like, yeah. I, again, not an instant home run, not an automatic win, but I think there's a lot here 
to give you some very legitimate optimism. I mean, could it turn out to be another sucky remake? Absolutely. But I also believe if you take a step back and look at it objectively, there's a lot of pieces of the puzzle here that could make something really, really good, potentially. Anyway, question is, guys, what do you think about this? They're going to go back and revisit Christine with Brian Fuller doing it. I think it's a good thing to take a shot at. How do you guys feel about it? Jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys.